Matt Beasler, a notable absence. Rodney Redis, who's played 25 games for them this year, unavailable tonight. And play has started to kick off by FC Dallas. And a long ball is drilled forward out of the back by FC Dallas. There's already an offside flag up for Javier O'Brien. Qualifier coming up against Mexico. Well, you know, you need to be playing. You need to be in form. You need to be fit. Quick free kick is taken. Oh, and Stuber with a save because Javier O'Brien unleashes a blast from just outside the box. Fagundes will have a chance to send a second ball in or can try to take a player off the dribble. Now that recycle ball comes in, and Hedges is also, is also there again, but ultimately that's headed on frame. Downwind for UC. Little layoff there by Dominguez. Alexander Ring going for goal! Alexander Ring. Well, there's the experience. Alexander Ring is really good at arriving late into the right places. You see, he takes a little step forward. And then he peels back a little bit. They're a little below what an average expansion team gets points-wise and wins-wise, but not far. So it hasn't been catastrophic, I don't think. Fagundes took the ball down nicely. Nick Lima overlapping run, and Fagundes has put Austin in front with a banger of a goal. 36th minute of the game. That is a solid finish, and Austin FC leads it. But look, I'm going to show you something here. Look. Yeah, it's a, it's a good shot, but when O'Brien and Tubasi right here, somebody's got to take the runner, and Tubasi thought O'Brien was going to, Tubasi thought he was going to take the runner. You see him right there. He thinks that O'Brien needs to take Fagundes, and when they get mixed up there. He's almost played 300 games in the league. Tonight is his 292nd game. This ball is going to reach O'Brien as Nick Lima missed a chance to intercept it, and O'Brien rolls it right in front, and it is a tap-in for Jesus Ferreira, and a quick answer for FC Dallas. Goal for the home team, tie game. That really nice little feed from Emma Tumasi there. O'Brien, he had something like this a while ago. He almost picked out Pepe on the backside. This time he picks out Jesus Ferrer, who's unmarked, and he's not going to miss from there. There was maybe a little hint of offside. Big win today for Red Bulls over Montreal. Both of those teams are on the fringe of the playoff race in the East. Right now, Red Bulls sit seventh with the 1 0 win earlier today. Eddie Cotton, what was Eddie going to dress up as? It was a long ball for Paxton Pomacall. Going to drop in front of him, and he's fouled. And this is going to be a really interesting call. What he is will. it? He's gone. Red card denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Taken out of a game this year from the FC Dallas perspective, but all of those red cards have happened late in the game. This is going to be all over a half an hour that Austin has to play with 10 after this denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity by Hector Jimenez. Played forward by Cascante, then to Alexander Ring. This is trouble right now as 10-man Austin has Fagundes getting the ball into the area. Oh, and Maurer has to recover on the opportunity by Pochettino to score. That's right, that's Dries. Yeah, it's Dries. You, know, you see this sometimes. Picked up by Ferreira. He's got a lot of options in front of him. Going to push it off to the right side to Obreon. Returns it back into the box. Oh, and right into the game! Franco Harris giving FC Dallas the lead! That is a nice finish! Not more than 30 seconds after he came onto the field! He has really embraced his role when he's been coming off the bench. He comes in, he fights, he occupies central defenders, and here he gets a pretty important goal. What could be? FC Dallas coming forward. The ball goes off Justin Shea. Quick throw in by Austin FC. And the whistle blows, and the winless streak is over, and FC Dallas will hoist Copa Tejas.